I'm now surprised to say I'm seriously in the best shape I've ever been in my entire life. Hey Casey, I wanted to invite you on a run tomorrow. No selfies, we definitely don't need to talk, and uh, you certainly don't have to wait for me. But I'd love to just go put some miles in. You down? Back when Casey announced the start of 368, I announced the start of my own challenge, Run With Nystat. And for the past 14 weeks, I've ran for over 70 days trying to go from what was the worst shape in my life to being in good enough shape so that way if one day Casey ever invited me on a run, I could actually go on it. Now for me, this was always so much more than going on a run with someone who inspired me. It was about building healthy habits back into my life and using this ridiculous goal to keep me motivated. It's week 10 or 11 of the challenge. Janelle and I are going to a wedding today. We're camping in the Sprinter van and we're getting ready for the for the wedding. Woo! There we go. They fit. Nice. Hey friend, it is 5.30 in the morning and I am leaving for the airport to try to catch my flight. Ready to go. Let's get that seatbelt on. I knew this was gonna happen, but the last few weeks of running were actually many weeks ago because I inevitably got behind on my running updates. But first I wanted to touch on what's arguably been one of the coolest parts about this whole thing so far for me. Every day since I started the challenge, I've been getting messages from people just like you saying that they're going out and doing an activity that's physical, that's outdoors, that's pushing them, that they really wanna do. Hey, what's up Levi? Hi Levi. What's up, Levi? My name's Kyle. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from San Francisco, California. Hey, Levi. This is Jan from also the left coast, but way south in Southern California. This is Arno from the Netherlands. All right, guys, my name is Christopher Pack. Hola, I'm Jose Garcia from Tijuana, Mexico. My name's Connor. I'm from Florida. My name's Greg from New Hampshire. I'm Dor from Israel, and I brought you to one of my favorite places to run at. It's here near the sea in Tel Aviv. I'm currently living in Columbus, Ohio. And the activity I'm trying to do more of is cycling. And I'm out here on my run, inspired by you. Also in that running kick. So thank you for inspiring me. Loving the videos, keep up the good work. Hey Levi, it's Nick True here from Mapped Out Money. I live in an Airstream full time, but I'm currently visiting family in Tennessee and the activity I want to do more of is getting up at 5 a.m. and getting after it. So one thing that I want to do more of is travel, and I'm gonna throw a second one, skydive and go bungee jumping. And I'd like to read more of this song. I want to wake up earlier. I want to mountain bike more. Um, who wouldn't, right? I love running, and I hope someday I can run a full marathon. My Instagram is at and I want to run slower, more slow runs. I just tend to go too fast. I want to thank you for inspiring us to make more stuff. Today I woke up at 6 a.m. to run and I definitely want to run more. I just find that whenever I wake up early, I feel so much better and I just get more done. So I'm gonna make it a habit. That is just so cool. I love seeing those clips of people just going out and getting after it. But how have things been going? I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical on what kind of difference going slower for longer could make. I'm now surprised to say I'm seriously in the best shape I've ever been in my entire life. Which is pretty incredible considering, I mean, just not even 12 weeks ago, I could hardly finish a 10K going as slow as I wanted. How far in are we? We are uh, 4.2 mile in. And what's our, and what's our average pace? It. Our average pace is under eight minutes a mile. <laughs> He's killing it right now. You guys make it easy. On the way back into downtown, Sean and Sarah are pacing me. 
I'm at around six and a half, seven miles. We're gonna make it. This is gonna be the fastest, longest run. Woo! I'm feeling like so much more energized day to day. My motivation's higher. It takes a lot of time to go running, but uh, the benefits for me so far have been huge. So right now I'm actually getting ready to go uh, to Boise uh, for the ConvertKit conference where I'm hoping to go on a run with Casey. And thankfully all of that slow running has been paying off because I've actually been getting significantly faster. Like a whole bunch faster. I wanna crank it up. I think this is gonna shape up to be my fastest 10 mile. And I'm hyped! Let's do this! Woo! I think this is day 47 of the challenge. And in the past five, six or so days, it's been super obvious that uh, my body's definitely changed. <laughs> a new personal best five kilometer, a new personal best 10 kilometer, a new personal best 10 mile, a new personal best longest run ever of 20 kilometers. I'm so happy. Just finished my third 10 mile of the week. That is 30 miles in three days. I'm feeling surprisingly okay. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you. And just like that, We've landed in Boise. What I've really liked about this challenge from the start is that there was a very real chance that I could fail entirely at it. For me, when it comes to making videos, that's kind of my sweet spot of, of where I like to challenge myself. That's where I'm actively trying to improve, to grow, to get better, and I have a lot of fun just progressing every aspect of what it is I'm doing with the camera and the stories that I'm trying to tell. And I guess I just realized that's one huge area of my life that I was missing out on is challenging more than just my creative side, but my whole being. And I'm making all these videos about people who are pushing their personal limits. And I had a really hard time thinking of the last time that I personally really challenged myself. And that's what I love about this whole crazy project because it's actually set a goal that I previously would not have thought would be possible. And yet I'm having to recklessly careen towards it, doing whatever I can to make it happen keeping that goal in mind to motivate me to use the public accountability i've i've actually done it i started this this whole challenge with the goal of getting my my 10 mile pace down to eight minutes and 30 seconds and and i've done it and in fact i've done better than it in fact if casey asked me to go on a run tomorrow i could certainly keep up like without question 14 weeks i went from not running at all never running a 10 mile to being in the best shape of my life.